How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can transfer all your photos and videos from your iPhone to your Windows PC. And I love this method because it's native, so you don't need to download anything or pay for anything. All you need is already there on both your PC in your iPhone. It's just a matter of transferring. And also, this method is updated to the latest versions of iOS and Windows 11. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is grab your cable, and I do recommend that you use an authentic Apple cable, like the one that comes in the box. If you don't have it anymore, or if it's not compatible with your PC, no problem, you can use a third-party cable. Just make sure it's a good quality one, because if it's a low quality one, or maybe if it's a damaged cable, it may not work, okay? So, go ahead, grab your cable, plug in to your PC, and then of course, the other end, you're gonna go ahead and plug in to your iPhone. Make sure to do that while the iPhone is like this, unlocked, fully functional, okay, on the home screen. It's just gonna make our lives easier. So plug it in, as you can see, make sure it's charging. Great, that's a great sign. And then you will see, if it's the very first time you're doing this, you'll definitely see a pop-up here on your iPhone asking you to trust the device. Go ahead and trust and then it'll ask you for your lock screen passcode, so type it in as well, and then you're good to go. It also may ask you if you wanna allow the device, in this case, the PC, to have access to your photos and videos. Of course, allow that as well. Since I've done this before, it's not asking me. You just need to do this for the very first time, okay? As soon as you do that, you can leave your iPhone on the table. You don't need to play with it or interact with it anymore. And all you need to do is go ahead here on the PC, press here, click here on the start button, and then look for photos. That's right, we're gonna use the native Windows Photos software. So go ahead here and open the photos, if I can find my cursor. So open up the Photos app, let it load. As you can see, if it's the first time you're doing this as well, you may see like a very first screen saying, uh, asking you if you wanna continue and continue, so we can do that. And then we're gonna get to this page, get started with photos. If you have used photos before, uh, you may see your photos here, right? So, but what we want to do is actually transfer our photos from iPhone to PC. So let's go ahead and click here to import. That's what we want to do. So click import, and then you already see here, Apple iPhone, and then you're going to click on it and then let it load, right? So click on it, it's going to start loading, and this may actually take a while, okay? Please keep in mind that if you have hundreds or thousands of photos, this will actually take a while. So let's wait. And so after a few minutes, that's what you see your photos and videos right here on your photos app on your Windows PC. Now, please keep in mind that I know that a lot of people won't see this. For a lot of people, the method won't work and that's because Windows and iPhone, they're not from the same manufacturer, so sometimes you have some problems. Problem number one, maybe you will see some photos loaded up here, but they will have a blank icon. If that happens, just unplug your iPhone and plug it back in and then wait for the process to sync once again and then it will work on the second or third try. For other people, it won't even load. Right after we go ahead and click on import on the previous screen that you saw, you will see an error message right here on photos saying that it was not able to locate or identify the device. If that did happen to you, uh, there are two things you can do. Number one, you can go ahead here, grab your iPhone, open up settings, and then right here on the top, go ahead and look for photos, as you can see right here. So your photos app on your iPhone, right? And then scroll down just a bit until you see here, transfer to Mac or PC. And you can go ahead and try and select keep originals because depending on the Windows version you're running, sometimes when you have automatic, it just doesn't work. So try keep originals. That's something you can try. Another thing that may cause your transferring or syncing process not to work is the fact that you didn't trust 
the device. Just like I showed you before, you have to trust and type in the lock screen passcode. If you're not sure if you have trusted or not, you can actually uh, manually make that pop-up happen once again. So if that's your case, you're not sure, it's not working, what you can do is unplug your iPhone, so unplug it, right? Then you scroll down, go to general, and then scroll all the way down until we get here, transfer or reset iPhone, and then tap on reset, don't worry, you're not gonna lose anything, and then reset location and privacy, that last option. As I said, you're not gonna lose anything, you're not gonna delete anything, don't worry about that, we're just gonna reset some settings, okay? So go ahead and reset, and then plug it back in. And then when you do that, it'll force Windows right here to ask that question on your iPhone, if you trust the device or not. Of course, you go ahead and trust, and then the method will work. That's all the troubleshooting uh, that I can give you to help you make it get to this screen right here, okay? So as soon as you get that, as soon as that works, you're pretty much good to go because what you can do is simply select the photos and videos that you wanna transfer, that you wanna import to your PC. Let's say I wanna transfer those three, just to make it quick, okay? And then you're gonna see this icon right here, which is the import button, so click on it and then import three items, as you can see. You can import to your standard picture folder or you can create a folder, okay? So let's go ahead and import, as you can see. It's gonna start importing, successful, and then of course, all you can do is go ahead here and open right here your file explorer and then go ahead here and click on pictures and there they are, the three photos, as you can see. Let's click on one just to show you and then as you can see, that's the screenshot that I took that I just saw right a few seconds ago and then that's literally it that's how you transfer the photos and videos but there's another final question because for a lot of people they're gonna say okay daniel but i can see here a few photos in my example two thousand photos but that's not all that's not all my photos and videos and that's exactly my case as well if i open up my photos app as you can see right here i have 37,000 items and windows could just find 2000 as you could see right here so what's going on and guys it's simply because windows can only find the photos and videos that are stored right here in your iPhone storage, in the local storage of your iPhone. So in my local storage, I have 2,370 photos and videos. But if you use iCloud, like I do, I use iCloud Photos, then not all your photos are gonna be stored on your iPhone. Most of your photos are gonna be stored in the cloud, in iCloud, and that's why Windows can't find them all, but of course, I can teach you how you can get those photos and videos as well. All you have to do is go to this other video, you can see the card right there, link in the description, and I'm gonna direct you to another video of mine where I can show you how you can get the rest of the photos. So the photos that are in the cloud. It's super easy as well, it's a universal process, it works for Mac, PC, for everyone, it will work for you, so you can go ahead and get the photos and videos straight from iCloud. As I said, this method will get the photos and videos that are on your iPhone. If you use iCloud Photos, you will need to go to that secondary video right here in the description. Go ahead, check it out, and then that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next one as usual, guys. Bye-bye.